And I say this with a heavy heart. The Lok Sabha is a space which stands out more for what cannot be said in its halls than what we can say. The list of unmentionables is actually far longer than the list of mentionables. It is as though the treasury benches get training in a special camp that teach them to react hysterically the very instant a member of the opposition utters certain words, no matter in what context. We cannot say China. We cannot say Pegasus. We cannot say BBC. We cannot say Morbi. We cannot say Raphael. And sometimes we cannot even say Modiji. It is on this precarious floor of eggshells that we, the members of the opposition, are forced to walk on every day. Treat a little hard, speak a little loud, and the Treasury benches hammer you down with brute force. The Honorable President's address speaks about the biggest bane of our country being corruption and crony capitalism. The address says, the government is of the firm opinion that corruption is the biggest enemy of democracy and social justice. Therefore, there has been a relentless fight against corruption in the last few years. We have ensured that the honest will be honored in the system. We have ensured that the honest will be honored in our system. I'm reading from the Honorable President's address. The very same president that you are loving to load. There is increasing social consciousness in the country that there should be no sympathy for the corrupt in this society. An effective system has also been put in place to end the practice of favoritism and corruption in government machinery. The Honorable President ends her address by saying, and I quote, let us fulfill the oath of the Constitution by walking on our Kartavya path in this Mahayagna of nation building. Honorable Chairperson, sir, as a responsible public representative, as a member of this opposition to whom this house belongs, I am walking on my Kartavya path by having the courage, in spite of all of you shouting, to speak about what I'm going to speak. Every word I utter is going to be an oblation, an offering of truth into my Mahayagna of nation building. I want to talk about the most famous person in India today. Unfortunately for this house, it is not the Honorable Prime Minister. It is a man whose name starts with an A and ends with an I. And no, it is not Advani. For the purposes of this speech, let me just call him Mr. A and his group, the A Company. I want to start off by saying, as an ex-investment banker, I want companies to thrive. But I want honest, hard-working Indian companies to strive, and not trapeze artists, as an MP colleague of mine likes to say. The chair always asks me not to get angry. I will not be angry for what I have to say. I will only say that we've all been fooled. I brought this topi with I me. Will, I will just remind you, your party has only 12 minutes. Yes, 12 sir. minutes for you. Confine. I have 12 minutes, sir. Please let me finish in 12 minutes. The chair, the chair always asks me not to get angry. I will not be angry for what I have to say. I will only say that we've only been fooled. I have brought this topi with me because this man has topi pen out this wonderful nation. I will start with wearing this topi. I have some extra for others who feel the same. Please don't do that. I want to summarize the story by simply saying, a company who in infrastructure, where you have to win most things by tender, or have to get a regulated return, I want to summarize this story by simply saying, a company who's in infrastructure, where you have to win most things by tender, or have to get a regulated return, cannot have high multiples when it is growing with debt. Most infrastructure companies make a 5 to 15% return if they're lucky and they get everything right. Once an infra is built, it is usually sold to pension funds when the infra player keeps a small portion as an operator of the asset. The multiples at which this A company is trading was absolutely outrageous. Even Google, Amazon, and Microsoft don't trade at such multiples. Ultimately, markets are and should be about fundamentals. I want to ask all of you, when a Russian company was taking over an oil refinery from an Indian business, it was not an attack on India. When Mumbai's electricity was taken over with funds from Qatar, it was not an attack on India. The pride of India lies not in the wealth of one individual. The pride of India lies in the robustness of its institutional structures. 
I don't want to get into a Wall Street short seller's allegations. I don't want to get into a Wall Street short seller's allegations. I want answers. I want answers to what I've asked. Sir, Mr. Chairperson, sir, are you going to do your job and please ask the honorable gentleman to sit down? Are you going to do your job, sir, and ask this honorable gentleman to sit down? I'll tell the house. I'll tell the house. Sir, I think it is within the honorable scope of your duty to either like ask the gentleman to speak down or throw him out with the marshals. Mr. Mem honorable member, up. आप अगर इसी तरह डिस्टर्ब करते रहे आपका नामित किया जाएगा आपको नामित किया जाएगा बार बार इस तरह डिस्टर्ब मत करिए किसी और को इस तरह डिस्टर्ब करने की हक आपके नहीं है आपका नामित किया जाएगा मैं आई वार्न यू लेट द अदर मेंबर्स ऑन द रूलिंग पार्टी आर अवेयर एंड मेक हिम अवेयर this is not the way you have to behave Sir, inside I the house. Sir, I throw him out or give me extra time. This is not the way. Okay. You cannot disturb like this. No, no, I'm not disturbing. You are disturbing the house. You are disturbing the house. The pride. You are disturbing the house. You are disturbing the house. You are not the house. You are not the house. Why are you standing up and sitting there? Sir, the pride of India is not the wealth of one individual. The one individual. The pride of India lies in the robustness of its institutional structures. I don't want to get into a Wall Street short seller's allegations. That's not my job. I want answers to what I had asked in this parliament, what I have raised over and over again since 2019. In this house, in my repeated letters on record to the SEBI, to the CVC, to the DRI, the CBDT, and the Finance Ministry. It is a shame for us, it is a shame for our investigative agencies that these allegations against the A company were only listened to when global entities asked these questions. When I stood here, when I stood here and asked this question, the global world didn't believe us. Honorable Prime Minister, this man, Mr. A, has Topi penowed you. He travels with you on your delegations. He meets heads of states on visits to India. He portrays that India is the prime minister and the prime minister is him. He makes it appear to the world that he is the remote control behind the prime minister. And by obliging him, will be obliging the prime minister. You talk about elimination of telephone banking to PSUs and to LIC. Let me tell you that he gives the impression that doing things for him will put them in yours and in the Home Minister's good books. Honourable Member. Honourable Home Minister. Honourable Member, you still have that on your table, which I had said that it should what, not sir? be. Take it on the table. Oh, okay. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. You should not have yeah. bought it. Honourable Home the Minister, house. he has Topi penowed you. He has had the same shareholder for decades, yet his company says we are not legally obligated to tell us who it is. Yet he is taking security clearance for ports and airports from the Ministry of Home Affairs. His group companies have amassed nearly 42,000 crores in foreign portfolio investments from six Mauritius-based funds. These funds have commonalities like common address, common company secretary, common directors. There is an urgent need to investigate these funds. I have brought this up in this house since 2019. In addition, there are 40 shell companies linked to the promoter who have collectively moved billions of dollars into Indian companies of this favorite group. No disclosure of related party transactions have been made till date. There are media reports that funding into these companies is managed by a Chinese national, Chao Chu Ling. There are reports that it's managed by his brother, artificially pumping up valuations by using pump and dump. His net worth has moved from 9 billion in 2020 to 90 billion in 2022, all in the anticipation of a following of a follow-on public offering and FPO. That was to be his moment of crowning glory. Madam Finance Minister, he has topi penowed you. When your ministry in parliament tells me that an investigation by the SEBI is ongoing, this company puts out a statement saying that they have been exonerated by the highest court of the land. Which court? Which nation? He also says his brother has no formal designation within the group, so any transactions with his brother or control entities controlled by him need not be uh, disclosed as related party transactions. Why has SEBI been a silent operator? Why would they permit a 20,000 crore FPO without completing an investigation report? Why didn't ask, uh, SEBI ask whether bankers had signed off on valuation? How is Mr. A's son's father-in-law allowed to be on the SEBI Committee on Insider Trading and Corporate Governance? How? What about the DRI? What about customs? What about GST? The foreign investigative wind of income tax? What are they doing? This is deception of the highest order. 
This man has been permitted to use the LIC, to use SBI, to use the PSU banks, to get money as and when he likes. LIC already has 36,000 crore exposure to the group. SBI has outstanding loans of 27,000 crores. Why were they again anchor investors in the FPO? Honorable Civil Aviation Minister, he has to open out you. In many ways, the finance minister said everything given to this company was by transparent tender. I have demonstrated in this house that the Dhamra LNG terminal shows that it is not awarded by tender. And even if he's awarded by tender, the tender rules are tweaked to favor him. For example, when he won as the highest bidder six airport tenders, the airports authority of India delayed handover of three airports Honorable because Honorable member, the... when you are making certain allegations, yes, sir. The person is not here. That's right, sir. To, आप, the आप person is Mr. Ray, sir. अगर कुछ कहना है यहाँ जाइए. Sir, I have not taken anyone's name, sir. No, I understand. Yes, sir. I understand. But when you are mentioning certain yes, sir, organizations. Yes, sir. The person is not here to defend himself. Yes, sir. Keep that in mind. Yes, 100 percent, sir. Please 100%. keep that in mind. 100 percent. But otherwise, these are matters of public importance, sir. Otherwise, I have to go through the records. And see what should be in the record. And should, yes, sir, hundred percent. I have said that. But Airports Authority of India, <laughs> <laughs> sir, 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 Raja, sir, Raja, sir, let me finish. Raja, sir, let me finish. But Airports Authority of India delayed the handover of three airports because they accepted his. He he invoked force majeure. They accepted it. GVK built the Mumbai airport and they did a fantastic job of it. On July 2nd, 2021, CBI filed FIRs against the GBI GVK group. On July 18th, the ED raided GVK in Mumbai and Hyderabad, and then they sold their 50.5% stake in Mumbai Airport to a company. He stopped even out this government further by pretending that he will finish Navi Mumbai by 2024. Honorable Shipping Minister, he has stopped even out you. He has managed to use his proximity in the shipping ministry and his clout with the powers that be in Maharashtra to prevent dead dredging in Mumbai port for years and years, so that traffic in JNPT between, cannot grow. Certain disturbances in between, you have already crossed 14 minutes. I can't help it, sir, because they've disturbed so much, you have sir. Already so crossed I need to ex yes, sir, I have extra three minutes, sir. Okay. They have disturbed so much. He has done the same in Paradeep by ensuring that Gail doesn't put up an LNG terminal there and numerous other places. Honorable Petroleum Minister, he has to pipe out our oil PSUs. I have highlighted that Gale and IOC were manipulated into signing a 46,500 crore 20 year pay or use contract for him in Dhamra that he got without, an, without a tender. Honorable Power Minister, he has to pipe out you by skimming away in offshore entities thousands of crores of, from coal supplies to Indian power plants. I want to end by saying India is on its way to becoming the third largest economy in the world. Don't let him smear your time in government with a stink of crony capitalism. Please immediately order full, complete, and thorough investigation into all matters. Our country's reputation and the systemic stability of our markets are at risk. Don't worry about infrastructure assets. We have world-class Indian companies who can easily take over these businesses and be kept in check by our regulators. Let us all wear a topi in solidarity as a signal to these agencies that in investigate immediately, fully, and thoroughly in all aspects. In conclusion, everyone is asking, who is behind Mahua? Every day, the fake news brigade, the Chaddi brigade, floats new theories. Is it an American investment bank? Is it Ambani? Is it China? Nobody is behind Mahua. Mahua is behind the truth. Jaise Shire ne kaha hai, dopeer tak big gaya bazaar ka har ek jhoot, aur me ek sach ko lekar sham tak baitha raha. Dopeer tak big gaya bazaar ka har ek jhoot. And in conclusion, sir, sir, are you going to shut him up, sir? Sir, are you going to shut him up, sir? I appeal to you, are you going to shut him up, sir? You please address to the chair. I am addressing you, sir. Are you going to shut him up or not? Because in conclusion, sir, I have a right to, to speak without being heckled, sir. It is your duty as the chair to ensure that for me. And in conclusion, in conclusion, in conclusion, in conclusion, everyone is asking. ये प्रश्न मेरे ऊपर आ रहा है कि मैं आपको कंट्रोल नहीं कर रहा हूँ. Sir. अभी तो मान जाओ. Shut up. Sir. बैठिए. In conclusion. बैठिए. Sir, in conclusion. बैठिए. बैठिए. Bye bye. Please let him go. Bye bye. Sir, in conclusion. In conclusion, sir. Time now. Sir. I would like to finish, sir. Sir, in conclusion. 
Everyone is asking who is behind Mahua. Every day the fake news brigade floats new theories. Is it the Chinese? You are repeating Is it Ambani? Is it J.B. Morgan? You are repeating No, yes, I need to repeat it, sir, because they are doing this purpose to heckle me and to ruin the flow of the speech. So I need to repeat it because they need to hear it. I have to call the next Sir, nobody is behind Mahua. Mahua is behind the truth. Sir, let me finish. Dopeer tak big gaya. Bazaar ka har ek jhoot. Aur mein ek sach ko lekar shaam tak bethi rahi. Hum to, hum to desh ke khatir aise lage hi rahenge. Jai Hind. Thank you. Honorable Member K.